Hi and welcome to my channel. I am White Bearded Boy. It's 22nd of February 2024 and I am back in Blessington for my last try with dead vests for pikes. Now it's been a long time since I posted that first video with dead baits and I'll explain why it is like that. Now my initial plan for dead baiting on Blessington was to prefer the spot because I didn't see much chance of a good dead baiting without preferring your spot before start fishing. So on that first spot I was feeding. I landed those first two pikes. Then beginning of December I landed third pike and that's the pike I'm gonna start this video with. And after that pike everything went downhill. First two weekends in a row I lost two nice fish on that spot due to the rig I was using so now I have uh, two single hooks rig that I'm still testing because I didn't have any takes on it and then around new year as trouble always comes in double I got company on that spot and company was in the form of 150 gram grounded dead baits flying all over the bay and falling 10 meters from my floats. Now I am fishing since I was six and dealing with vultures and cormorants since I was 10. So when you are the only fisherman with your neighbor on a 60 kilometer long lake and his baits are falling on your float, I simply don't fish that spot anymore. But it was already new year and I didn't see a point in starting everything uh, from a start in the middle of a season. New spot, uh, start feeding, trout season coming up. I am tying flies now, so that's a new thing I'm gonna be doing on my channel. And it was a loss of time to start all over again. So today I'm gonna do one last try with dead baits before trout season opens and I am gonna do it with only one rod because on the second rod I'm gonna do something different that's connected with my fly tying and it's my first pike lure from sponge and combination of some fly materials and it's jig lure it's a decent size should act pretty nice in water maybe that will find a pike before a dead bait for the end of the season so let's see
You see that? Okay. Not too bad, but not monster. Ah, oh, it's fish. Good. Yeah, that's 82 centimeters as you can see. Decent bike. See first is she ready to go? with my fish it never was and it never will be me 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 go 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 now go now go there you go go and as I initially thought this was just another un unsuccessful try for dead baits without pre-feeding so it's not gonna work without pre-feeding the position and I'm gonna go and pack my ultralight spin tackle because next Friday I'll be back here with my hand homemade ultralight spin lures and flies I've been tying this winter since dead baiting went to crap and on the end, if you would like to see more of hand homemade lures videos I made, you can check out my White Bearded Boy YouTube channel. If you like to see what flies I'm tying, lures I'm making and what I'm catching on them, you can check out my Facebook White Bearded Boy profile. And see you soon, because next Friday, submarines and brown trout are back. And I can't wait.